When laying out my moving lights on my direct selects, I've broken them into three main types of fixtures. I have my spots, my beams, and my washes. And this is pretty typical for a rig that you're going to busk. Uh, it's, it's easier to grab a group of fixtures and make them do something rather than target I want electric one and electric five. Um, because busking, generally speaking, is a fairly blunt instrument. It's a broad tool. So we want a quick and easy way to grab large numbers of fixtures at once and make them do something. I've broken my, my rig is broken down into spots, beams, and washes. My spots are my fixtures that I'm typically going to throw a gobo in and make it rotate. If I'm looking for a way to differentiate between my spots and my beams, uh, that's a good place for me to start. Typically, I'll also use the spots uh, as a way to highlight talent on stage. I'll use them as a stage wash or audience washes if I need that sort of thing. My next set will be my beams. My beams are fixtures that I will use to do more beam style aerial effects, kind of like these shafts of light here. I can also throw gobos into those fixtures. However, these fixtures in particular, uh, they don't have rotating wheels. So that really quickly allowed me to identify them as they are the fixtures that I want to use as my beam fixtures. Then I also have my wash fixtures. These are easy to define if I have any sort of soft edged fixture. So in this case, uh, we have some GLP Impression X4s, which are a soft LED fixture. They can be used like this to create some soft edged beams, but I can also zoom them out and get some nice audience washes or stage color that way. It's a way to get three different looks on stage and grab these three different types, and then I can combine them to create these looks and have a gobo, a beam, and a, maybe a general color going on simultaneously without picking specific fixtures that I want to do. Again, busking is all about being able to do things in time with the music. So the more I'm hunting for, I want, you know, I want this, this electric and this electric and these side lights to do this thing, and if I'm using a lot of selection-based tools like that, um, I probably already missed the beat. Um, I want to be able to really quickly grab a group of fixtures and slam a handle up, and then if I want to be able to bust between them, I can just really easily have this stuff on a handle, and because they're all broken out into these three groups, they're easy to identify. Other types of fixtures that I'll typically break out, I have my audience blinders. So these, in this case, are four light Mole Richardson fixtures. A lot of times when you refer to blinders, they're typically a four light or a six light tungsten fixture. I also have some ACLs in here, aircraft landing lights. I'm calling those my conventionals. If I have an array of park hands as well in my rig, I'll break those out separately as well so I can have individual control of that. I also have strobe lights, so I'll use those as audience blinders or quick audience flashes or random strobes. So I obviously want to break those out as well because um, those are very special use cases. But I do want to know where I can find them quickly when I need them.